working for week 11 of 2013 and this week we've got a selection of three um, crowd working projects from Kickstarter that are based in Austin, Texas. Yes. So Phil, tell me about the first one, Southwing. Um, so the reason why I picked this one is not because I know anything particularly about it, but because the person only asked for $150. Yeah, yeah. And um, I never really see many uh, that are really, really small, uh, you know, uh, and I'm mm. not sure how old the guy is, but I, I really didn't look into anything apart from the fact that this guy called Stephen Manning, he's asked for $150. He's got six people yeah. who backed him, and he's ended up with $235. So, I mean, he must be ecstatic that he had an extra $85, <laughs> which is nearly half of what he originally asked for, again, on top of it. <laughs> So, uh, Southwing is an episodic machinima series that tells the story of two CIA agents and two CDC agents in a word played with zombies. So, perfect uh, kind of story <laughs> thing. And, you know, it, I just really like the idea that this is six people that potentially don't know yeah. um, Stephen at all. And he's gone on there and asked for $150. And he's, he's got over that. But he's now got an audience of six. Yeah. He's got an audience of six who he knows yeah. will want to watch his, his product, yeah. his shows. And as I say, again, Perk's always able to do those. Yeah. Next um, one. He, can we go on to the next one? Next one. Because we can't yeah. do all these. Can't can do all we? these. Can't no. do all these. No. Okay. Mirth & Co. Books. Yeah. No I, books. I wanted, to mention, like I wanted to mention Mirth & Co. One, because uh, as you see on the website there, it tells me that certain people who are backing it. And my cams, who uh, is doing th for thousands of miles a film, he's been doing it for the last five, six years. He's a cool guy. I kind of know him indirectly through uh, video blogging and variety okay. of things. But for me, this this notebook thing, it, it, I really like the idea that, yes, we're using technology to crowdfund mm -hmm. things, but we're taking it back to basics of things that we use every day and building companies out of nothing, really. You know, if somebody's got a quality idea, wants to build a product, good quality paper, good quality stitching, you know, these guys are, are making quality hand-sewn uh, notebooks in Texas. They're not so being these are like the passport books, aren't they? Absolutely. The, yeah. But they're not being imported. They're actually being all made in Texas. I think it's yeah. something about doing, you know... Um, so they are the craftspeople who are making these notebooks, aren't they? Right. And they asked yeah. for... They asked for... What was it 26,000. And they ended up with 33,000. And now they've got an audience of 500 backers. So any products that yeah. they made, they, they're, they're yeah. pretty sorted. So... Cool little thing. I'm going to see if I can pick one of those up while I'm in Austin. John Bell and Sean Fox from Austin, Texas. Well done, by the way, guys. Okay. Um, our third a little dip into Austin projects. Say hello to Farewell Books. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to mention this one because it's very similar to the the way that the, the, the uh, Kickstarter stuff I've seen before where you know, a picture house had to change from mm. uh, analog to digital equipment. And I think if you're looking for a way for your city to... Uh, keep hold of some of its heritage you know don't rely on big corporations who are not paying their tax yeah. and disappearing to other places get together a, a hardcore mm. group of four or five hundred yeah. people who are well connected and you know you can save this bookshop yeah. you can save bookshops I mean, you can this save is, theatres this is enough. I mean they were looking for 14,500 they've got 10 days to go they've made 5,556 so far but they've got 104 backers Yeah. so even if they didn't make their money they wouldn't get the cash sent to them. They do still have this connection to mm. 104 people who really were interested in the project. Well, I mean, they could double their efforts again and they could, you know, go out to those 104 people and say, you know, we didn't make it last time, mm. but if you're willing to put your donation in again, yeah. we think we can really hit it this time. Yeah. And it's just storytelling. Whoever does the, the, the better kind of storytelling. Yeah. But it looks like a busy store in Austin. Uh, say hello to Farewell, Bo Farewell Books. Um, if you want to find out local projects that are happening in your city, your town, try any of these crowd working sites, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, do a search for Nottingham or Austin or wherever you are, and you'll find all the projects that are happening yeah. locally. Support them if you can, even if it's just a pound. Um, that's it really for me this week. And me.